Today I'm going to play Lift Up Your Heads, Ye Mighty Gates, written by German pastor George Weissel. He was inspired by Psalm 24 to write this hymn. In that Psalm, David was calling the people of Jerusalem to prepare for the coming of the Ark of the Covenant into the city, the Ark that was destined to reside in the Holy of Holies, the holiest part of the temple, the Ark that represented the presence of the Lord among the people. David was calling his people to open the gates so that the Lord could enter their city, so that God could dwell among them and be Lord of their lives. In like manner, this hymn calls us to open the gates of our hearts so that the Lord can enter there. It calls us to make our heart a temple, a holy place fit for the Lord's presence, a place adorned with prayer and love and joy. Lift up your heads, ye mighty gates. Behold, the King of glory waits. The King of kings is drawing near. The savior of the world is here. This hymn comes from a devastating time in 17th century Europe, the Thirty Years' War, from 1618 to 1648. The struggles between the Protestant princes of Bohemia and the tyranny of the Catholic emperor led to the plundering of the land by troops and untold suffering bringing on disease and famine. Yet this is an era that has given to Christianity some of its finest German hymns. Now thank we all our God by Martin Rinkert, Ah, Holy Jesus, How Hast Thou Offended by Johann Hermann, and the hymns of Paul Gerhardt, several of which were translated by John Wesley. Among these hymns is George Weissel's reflection on Psalm 24, 7. George Weissel was a Prussian scholar, school teacher, and pastor who wrote about 20 hymns. Most of Weissel's hymns are on the themes related to various seasons of the Christian year. Lift Up Your Heads first appeared posthumously in 1642. The famous British translator of German hymns, Catherine Winkwart, rendered the hymn into English in five eight-line stanzas. The version that appears in hymnals today usually reduces the hymn to four four-line stanzas. Have a blessed holy week.